Good morning. Welcome to the Friday morning discussion for August 15th, 2014. It's currently 7 a.m. and it is amazingly beautiful outside. You're going to need a little bit of a jacket, a light jacket, uh, because it's that chilly out. Temperatures this morning to the north and west of the major cities of New York City and Philadelphia range from the upper 40s to lower 50s. We should be in the mid 60s. Upper 40s to lower 50s. That's pretty chilly for this time of year. It's more like mid to late September type low temperatures that, rather than mid-August. Along the coast, New York City metro around mid to upper 50s. And in the Philadelphia metropolitan area, mid to upper 50s for the most part. Lower 60s right in Philadelphia itself. We have winds from the west and northwest at around 5 miles per hour, and we have clear skies. And those clear skies and light winds, combined with very low humidity, has led to these temperatures falling off rather dramatically overnight. And as I warned, some locations have even hit the mid-40s in a few isolated locations in portions of northern New Jersey and also northeastern Pennsylvania and the Hudson River Valley earlier this morning. So clearly we have a very cool air mass in place throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. When you take a look at the surface map, the secondary cold front that moved through yesterday evening, producing some heavy showers, is now off the coast and exiting out into the Atlantic. This surface low is representative of the upper level low that is basically spinning right over southeastern Canada and sending disturbances through our neck of the woods and also keeping us on a very cool weather pattern for the next two days or so. Now, as far as the radar is concerned, we do have a batch of showers moving through the Mohawk River Valley. You can see the interstate right here cutting right into the Mohawk River Valley. These showers will remain to the north of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, but you see kind of this lingering band right here. This is the tail end of the disturbance right here, and I can't rule out an isolated shower over northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, the Hudson River Valley, and northern Connecticut as this disturbance passes by. Everyone else will be dry today with high pressure and full control. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that upper level low spinning here. We'll see it under water vapor in just a moment. It's defined even better. But you see this disturbance right here. This is what I'm concerned about for the far northern areas of the forecast area. Uh, as far as an isolated shower potentially for this afternoon. Other than that, dry conditions with this high pressure system in full control. On the water vapor satellite picture, you can clearly see that upper level low. Look at that, just spinning out here. Again, kind of a no, well, it's, it's not something that you typically see in mid-August. We've seen it before. We've seen it in other weather patterns before, um, but this is definitely unusual for this time of year to have this type of cool air mass and this type of setup in the atmospheric pattern for mid-August. Usually like these type of upper level lows are a little bit further north, let's say over northeastern Quebec, and we typically end up with a more of a zonal pattern rather than a rather defined trough over the northern mid-Atlantic. So we clearly have a fall-like pattern in place for today. Enjoy it because temperatures today are going to be outstanding with low humidity, and we're looking at high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s along the coast and in the urban areas, lower to mid 70s in your northwestern interior. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance via the Penn State E-Wall website using the European model guidance. Again, for today, high pressure generally in control. Watch out for that isolated shower over the northern tier. Other than that, scattered cloud cover expected. Temperatures generally in the mid to upper 70s lower to mid 70s in your far northern areas in the Hudson River Valley, for example, and northeastern Pennsylvania. For tomorrow, high pressure starts to shift towards the New England coastal waters, leading to more of a southwesterly wind. Now, the lows tomorrow will again be rather chilly, upper 40s to lower 50s over the far northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your northwestern and western suburbs of Philadelphia and New York City, and upper 50s to lower 60s in the immediate urban areas and along the immediate coast. High pressure will lead to clear skies for the most part for tomorrow morning and for tomorrow afternoon, with temperatures rebounding into the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast and lower to mid 80s everywhere else. On Sunday, a cold front will move through the region with scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. 
These thunderstorms will be weak, though, so we're not looking for anything severe in nature. Temperatures will definitely be warmer with the southwesterly flow. Returning back to more near normal levels, mid to upper 60s for lows, lower to mid 80s for highs for the most part on Sunday. Could see a few upper 80s in portions of the Philadelphia metro, especially right in Philadelphia itself. Then on Monday, high pressure takes control once again with sky cloud cover expected. It's not going to last long though. Temperatures on Monday will range from the mid to upper 60s for lows, lower to mid 80s for highs. On Tuesday, clouds will increase as an area of low pressure develops to the south. Now this area of low pressure will interact with this upper level low that's been spinning over the St. Lawrence River Valley and shifting towards the Canadian Maritimes. As it's doing so, we'll look for increasing cloud cover and a threat for showers developing late Tuesday night and continuing on through Wednesday. So on Tuesday, we look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s for lows. Could even see a few lower 70s in your urban areas. High temperatures only in the lower to mid 80s. On Wednesday, with periods of rain and, and the winds coming in from the northeast as this low pressure system basically intensifies off of the mid-Atlantic coast and then ships out towards the coastal waters of New England, will produce rather cool temperatures. Now in the morning, lows will be in the mid to upper 60s, but high temperatures will only rise about 10 degrees or so, with most locations in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. So again, it looks like Wednesday is going to be one of those cloudy, raw, wet days setting up throughout the region. And then on Friday, high pressure will return once again with scattered cloud cover and temperatures returning to near normal levels for Thursday and Friday, excuse me, with low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s, high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s, which by the way is pretty much where we should be for this time of year. So that's your forecast discussion for tonight, for today. Uh, have a wonderful day out there. And of course, thank you for following NY and JPA weather. You can always follow the latest information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. As always, have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.